Hello everyone. So I'm working on a very big canvas today and it's 22 by 28 inches. And what I had in mind for this one is to do, it's going to be a, um, a blowout. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to, um, I'm just going to have a white base and then I'm going to blow, um, out like a heart design, like a heart shape. And then once that dries, I'm going to put one thin coat of gloss varnish on it. And on top of that, add like embellish it with an infinite it with an infinite. Oh my God. So many, <laughs> so many and and Okay. And embellish it with an infinity symbol. Oh, there we go. And the infinity symbol is going to look as if it's like weaving around the heart and that like the heart is, is inside the, the open parts of the infinity symbol, kind of like a, a 3d ish type effect. So it works out like I have it in my head. It, it's going to look really cool. I'm going to go ahead and flood my canvas and then I'll be back. Now, to start laying down the paint in the shape of a heart, first I'm going to pour from a squeeze bottle because that'll be 100% more accurate and the, the pour will be better out of a squeeze bottle than it would be out of a cup. Now I'm gonna try to do just like a thin line first just to make sure I have it right and then I'll go back in and make it heavier. Now to make a match. <laughs> So that first color was um, cadmium red deep hue. This next one is pure old red. I've got alizarin crimson. This is a custom mixed color. And I don't know if I want to, I don't think I want to put this one on the whole thing.
And then my next color is fluorescent pink. Oh. Laid it down a little heavy right there. And then this last color is crimson. Torch my air bubbles. Right, now this is going to be the tricky part. some really cool cell action going on here too. The main thing that's on my, my mind right now though is the fact that I didn't really leave enough room for the infinity symbol. I didn't but I, at the same time I could make it work. I don't like this right here. I don't know if you can see but those like squiggly is right there. So I'm going to blow that out a little bit more. Got some really cool cells happening along here. It's 
So that's the end of step one. And I'll see you in a minute for step two. All right. Um, it is dry and I have applied two coats of Liquitex gloss varnish to it, which um, is also dry and cured and ready for the next step, which is to add the infinity symbol. Um, what I'm going to do first before I just start throwing paint or marking all over it with paint pen um, is I'm going to take a pencil and roughly sketch with the pencil where uh, my infinity symbol is going to go. That way I don't screw up when I am um, using either the black paint or black paint marker, whichever one I end up using. Most likely will be a paint marker because I like the better control I have with that. And so yeah, um, I am going to speed through that part, but I will let you watch me trace the infinity symbol. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, since clearly I'm not even working with what paint right now, um, it's just to make sure that nothing grimy from my fingers or my hands or just my skin, my skin in general rubs off on this or like makes um, any like dirty fingerprint spots um, on the white negative space since there is so much of it. And so figured it wouldn't hurt to take a precaution and wear gloves. So, um, let me just backtrack on what I said previously because there are some things that did not work. Um, one, the pencil would not mark on here. I could not get any pencil to mark on here because it's already varnished. Um, I've been able to with another painting before, even though it had um, just one layer of varnish. but. Yeah, and so that's why I ended up using pink dry erase marker in place of a pencil, which is no big deal because it's going to get covered up anyway. And so yeah, uh, issue number two I ran into is that I thought that the black using black paint marker instead of um, paint and a brush for the infinity symbol would be a better idea because of it being more precise. Um, it is more precise, but that I realize that that doesn't necessarily um, mean it's also easier to work with for this specific purpose. Uh, it is not. And it's um, it definitely is making it more complicated because, you know, with using the paint marker, any like it's so easy to make this not straight whereas with the paint brush it would be a lot e you know it would naturally the the edges of the symbol are will naturally be more straight and not all like you know just messy like that and so since i'm switching to a paintbrush just to be safe what i'm going to do is apply some masking fluid before i start you know going with the brush I have 
masking fluid. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I'm going to apply that where I don't want, where I want to make sure not to get any of the black. So basically like I'm going to apply it all of right here, um, all of here and here and here mainly. And, um, yeah, and I might apply it, um, as well. I might also apply it like at this tip and like here because just because, yeah, I think it would look cool. Um, I can almost guarantee like with the brush, it's, I mean, it's a lot better than this. Uh, it's going to end up going, this is dry. <laughs> it's going to end up going over that. Oh yeah. It is. And I feel like because it's going behind here, behind this part of the heart, it should also go behind that as well. And I also feel like that would look really cool and just add to the whole 3D effect. Okay, the masking fluid is dry now. And so I am going to go ahead and start, um, start painting the infinity symbol. Um, with a brush and just regular paint this time. If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button of course and i will see you in the next one